Hey guys, welcome back to another video at Jensen's Reptiles. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a boa constrictor enclosure. So here we've laid out the 8 foot enclosure. This was back when we were sorting the reptile room out and everything was a bit of a mess. But you can see the full length of the enclosure there. It really is the entire length of one side of the room. Then we went by marking the um, cable holes where they needed to be for all of the equipment that would be going in the top of the enclosure. For Zeke, we've used um, a couple of ceramics and also a light fixture in the top, so we wanted to add some extra cable holes. So just using a multi-tool there to, um, to make all those holes for him. So this was the point it was all really coming together and we could see just what kind of space it was going to start taking up in the room and it just looked fantastic. We wanted to add some extra supports into the top of the enclosure, so we thought using uh, some tree branches would be the best option for that. So here we are just sanding off the top of the tree branches to make sure that they fit really nicely. And again here just testing that everything is supporting the uh, lid the way it should and that the long branch we have it fits nicely. And here's the finished product. So I'm so happy with how it's turned out. Um, the cool thing about this enclosure is as big as it is it doesn't look insanely massive because the things we've put inside are big. We've used big plants and big tree trunks and um, a giant pond filter cover as a hide so Zeke looks kind of smaller again um, which is really what we were going for because he's just over six feet and um, he's growing quite quickly which is fantastic uh, but he was starting to look absolutely massive in his previous four foot enclosure which as you can imagine six foot of snake in a four foot enclosure just does not work so he's now got eight feet and it's absolutely fantastic what you can see there above his hide is a basking spot and then over to the left here he has another one. So one providing him with a basking temperature and then one providing ambient temperature for the rest of the enclosure. So that's um, a system that's working out really nicely for us. Uh, very, very happy with that. So as you can see, we used a fallen tree in the enclosure for Zeke to climb on. He is a heavy bodied snake, but I still wanted him to be able to do a bit of climbing. Uh, one of the branches is forked as well, so he can climb up into that, and he often sits up in that branch. But this one, we wanted it to create some extra hiding spots for him, so we could use the tree and the plants together. So if he were to go behind them, it would replicate an unnatural hide with something a bit more natural. We still used a natural substrate, um, lots of bark on the floor to aid with any kind of shedding, things like that. Um, and Zeke actually shed today, um, so it just shows everything's working the way it should, which is fantastic. I'm really happy with it. Um, so yeah, you can see kind of the, the true length of this enclosure. As I said, it, it doesn't look enormous. It is, it is just eight feet long, um, but I think the way we've used the space is great. Uh, so here's the main man himself. Uh, when I took this clip, he was actually about six hours away from shedding and he was in a real grumpy mood. He just wanted to be left alone. So I got a, a uh, few quick shots of him and then just left him be. Um, but luckily he surprised me with a shed the next day, which was fantastic. But yeah, so the hide that we've used, as I mentioned, is a pond filter cover. So it's absolutely enormous, and this is the small size, so it can be a lot bigger. So if you've got Burmese pythons, reticulated pythons that you're looking for a natural hide for, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, yes, they are on the pricey side, but they retain heat fantastically. They look natural in your enclosure, and I don't know about any other snakes, but Zeke absolutely adores this hide. So it's um, it's worked out really well for him. We've got his heat just above it which provides a fantastic uh, hide temperature for him, but also on the surface of the hide, he's got a wonderful basking spot where his UV reaches as well. So he can sit there kind of for the main part of the day. And um, as you can see, that's what he tends to do. So supplementing the UV light, we've got some uh, white Python LEDs running across the top. So these just clip together so you can use as many as you want. Just make sure you get the, um, the right power supply for it. And then you can see he's got his Arcadia UV light unit there. Now down at the other end, we decided to use some green LEDs. So just one, um, but it really gives this side of the enclosure a jungly look. Um, I think you can see it there where it's glowing a little bit greener than the other side. The other side tends to be a bit whiter. And this side is nice and, and dark and green and just provides that hiding spot for Zeke. 
So as you can see, he's still in a bit of a grump, but here's where I got really happy. So the next morning I came through, Zeke was sitting like this under his heat lamp and um, there's his lovely pile of skin just to the right of him. But he was looking absolutely fantastic as he always does after a shed. Um, one thing I've always noticed with Zeke is that he will shed his skin and he will go to the bathroom at the same time. Um, this time he didn't. So he was still a little bit grumpy, which just indicated to me that he needed to use the toilet. And after that, he would probably be feeling a hell of a lot better, which um, which was the case. And I've got some clips of him uh, coming out a bit later on, and you can tell he's he's in a different frame of mind at that point. Um, but Zeke's always a funny one. He's incredibly docile. He's a lovely, lovely animal. Um, as you can see here, he just came and hung out at the front of the tank with me whilst I was filming. He wasn't in the best of moods and he was really giving me signs to kind of not get too close and just give him a space, which I'll always respect. So I had the camera zoomed in rather than having it right up in his face, which is why the, the filming is a little bit up and down. Um, but he was just hanging out and he's always fine with me being near him as long as I just read his warning signs, give him the space that he wants. He's happy as can be um so with um the uv lighting that we've got for zeke we really wanted to create a uv rich zone for him rather than having a tube light in the whole tank and having kind of nowhere for him to get away from the light we put it just to the left of his hide so between 12 and 4 his uv light comes on and he goes straight up onto this hide to sit right in the beam of the light as you can see there, he's got the heat from above and then he's got the light coming in from the side. And what he'll do is he'll just sit and slowly rotate for those four hours. So it just shows it's it's so beneficial to give them that extra little bit of UV. Um, I don't know if it's necessary or not, to be honest. I know that people say they can live a long and happy life without UV and I am inclined to to believe that. I just think that it's that extra boost, that extra supplement that's going to make them feel great. And I know that if I lived in a um, <clears throat> in a box with no natural light for my entire life, I may not live, live as long, I may not feel so good. You can have all the artificial vitamin in the world and still not feel fantastic. So just giving him that was, you know, a great thing in, um, in my mind. So here's the little lad later on. Um, after he's pooped, he's feeling great. Um, the great thing about having Zeke in this new room and on the floor here is that he can come out whenever he wants to so all he has to do is <laughs> give us a little wave at the glass we'll open the door straight away and he can come out the room's pretty safe for him to explore we just got to keep an eye on him for uh, cables and things like that but otherwise he can have a climb on the chair he can stretch out on the rug whatever he wants to do so that's um how i spent my afternoon with zeke today i opened his cage up and let him explore the room and let him explore me it's a beautiful hot day here so I'm not worried about temperature and then as soon as he's had enough he just takes himself back in and in my mind that really shows that he knows this is his home he knows this is his safe place and he can go in there whenever he needs to feel comfortable or when he just wants to go and have some time to himself but anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch up with you all soon